do you draw any inspiration from uh, musical artists? Music all the time. I I am a I am a human iPod. I I won in middle people school. don't know what that is anymore. iPod. Yeah, that's you got used a different term. <laughs> yeah, I am a music player. I am a Spotify. I am a yeah. There you go. <laughs> I'm a Spotify playlist. Uh, I I love all different types of music. I because I think music is a feeling. Um, I think people listen to music for how exactly they want to feel at the time, right? Like when I'm feeling like if I'm about to have a party, I'm not about to put on like sad music for everyone to cry to. I'm, I'm about to like, you know, to turn up a little bit with yeah. some, well, I like rap to kind of turn up, but um, sometimes country does it for some people. Um, but you ask, so, so music. I, since growing up, I've been a huge hip hop and rap fan. Okay. I'm hip hop and rap to the absolute core. Second to that is probably like classic rock. But uh, I think three artists that have inspired me. So I'm going to go and say this. This is a this bold statement. I would say Logic. So Logic the Rapper. He, okay. he inspired me to write. So I listened to his albums Under Pressure and Incredible True Story on the way to college. And right when I got to college, it inspired me so much that I began writing lyrics. And mm. I loved his flow. I loved his storytelling, his concept. So I would say logic up there. I would say Kendrick Lamar inspired me to think deep and build okay. sort of like my own perspective of my writing and to do a better job at writing because Kendrick Lamar is just absolutely a mastermind at like different rhyme schemes, um, different like feelings, cadences, expressing major themes in his work. Like Good, yeah. uh, Good Kid Mad City is just like unreal. Um, to Pimp a Butterfly, this is probably like a... Um, to Pimp a Butterfly, I don't know if many people would agree with this. I mean, I won't want to Grammy, but To Pimp a Butterfly is just an absolute masterpiece of, of just of jazz, funk, soul, incredible rhyme scheme, mm -hmm. storytelling. Um, I throw that on a lot, actually. I've been listening to a lot of Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Um, and then, honestly, lastly, I mean, I'm just going to keep it rap. I, I really love J. Cole he uh he's just more fun to me he um i like his rhyme schemes too he's more of like my my fun rapper uh, i throw him on if i'm working out i mean i can throw on any album um but you know i will tell you though even though those are my favorites like actually in rotation right now is is honestly none of them uh okay. kendrick a little bit but i've been into a little bit like alternative i guess or r&b so I, i've been throwing on tame impala uh, dude tame 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 impala's my guy yeah that is like unreal <laughs> it's the slow rush album and currents yeah half the time i don't know what is being said but it's a feeling it's like an energy yeah it's it, like to me that's like a productive like i throw that on if i'm trying to get productive or i guess feel some type of way um Frank Ocean's good too, R and B. Okay. I think he's actually one of the the top R and B artists of of our time. I just don't think he gets like a lot of a lot of credit. I don't know mm. if he's one of the Grammys, but that's kind of like what I've been into recently. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good. What do you call that? Good stable of of uh, artists for sure. 